so hey guys welcome back so in this lecture i am going to show how we can integrate the azure devops with this sonar cube server so first you need to come to your sonar cube server and under the sonar cube server you, you can go to administrations under the administrations you can go to the devops platform integration we have already done with the github now we are going to do with the azure devops so you click on this one now here just create a configuration and now let's provide the configuration name is the test azure with the sonar and here azure devops url so you need to provide the url till the organization so if i go back to my dev.azure.com and this is my url dev.azure.com slash then your organization name you copy that name and you can provide here now here you need to provide the personal access token so go back to azure devops go to user settings go to personal access token and then create a new token so this will be your test now here we will select the expiration date will be the 90 days and now i'll provide the full access now i'm going to create this token so i'm going to copy this one and now here i'm going to provide this token value and if you scroll down everything is done now save configuration you can see the configuration is valid if i click on the check configuration this configuration is the valid so first thing you need to do this configuration on the sonar cube server now let's go back to this azure dev.azure.com so you can see this is the azure devops and this is my project so under the azure repos we need to clone and import the repository where our code is present so as of now our code present in the github.com so first we need to import this project into our azure repository so for that we will go to the azure repos under the azure report if you already have a project then you need to import a new project then you just click on this drop down and you click on the import repository and here you need to provide the clone url so what i will do i'll go to this github.com under the code i'm going to copy this url and i'm going to paste it here now this is the name of the code so i'm going to update the name this is the latest new and now i'm going to import this repository to azure repos okay so the uh, import is successful you can see this is the project we already have imported and this is the yaml file pom.xml file everything is there now i'll go back to the sonar cube server and now i will go to the projects under the projects i need to create a new azure devops project so for that i'll click on the create project now you can see the options from azure devops so i'm going to select this one now here i need to provide the personal access token so whatever personal access token we have created so i'm going to provide the personal access token now i'm going to save the configuration now after that you will see the project name is there so test sonar cube project if you go back to your dev.azure.com so you can see this is a test sonar cube project is there so i'm getting the same project so i'll click on this project now here you can see these are the two repository and in azure devops if i go back and if i see under the repos i can see the two repositories are there now our code is present in the code new this is the new repository so i'm going to click on this import and now here you need to select the global setting then create a project all right so the project is created you can see now here the analysis method we will select with azure pipeline so i'm going to click on this one now here it is provided some steps so one the sonar cube extension should be installed so that is we have already installed and second is the service connections that is also created already if you don't know how to create the service connection then you can go to your azure.com go to your project setting under the project settings you will go to the service connections we have the service connection so if you want to create a new you just click on the new service connection select the sonar and you can select next now here you need to provide the server url so this is the server url localhost 9000 this is the server url you can provide the url token you can generate a personal access token from here under the security you can generate a new personal access token from this is the user token and if you're going to generate a new token you just 
copy this token and you can provide here all right and this uh, this is the server url you need to provide here so this is the server url and now the service connection name is the new sc service connections now you can grant all the permissions and you can save it okay i already have the one service connections created you can see this is the service connection sc con we have already created so like that you can create a service connection now here we have provided the local host we have generated the token and we have saved the service connection so this step is completed now come back to the configure analysis so our project is the maven so i'll click on this maven now here it provided some steps but we will create a new pipeline then i'll show you the complete analysis here okay so for that i'll go back to azure devops under the azure devops i'll go to this project under this project i'll go to click on the pipelines and now i'm going to create a new pipeline so i'll click on the new pipeline now here let me explain with the classic editor so i'll use the classic editor pipeline now this time i am going to select the azure repositories okay because our project is present in the azure repos in previous video we have set up with the github okay now this time we are going to set up with the azure repos so i'll select this one and this is the project we are going to select and this is the repository okay if you go and see where our code is present you can see this is the new code new repository so i'm going to select the same and this is the master branch let's continue now here let me create a empty job all right so um, this is the ci pipeline so we have created this one with the azure repo okay we have created this name of the pipeline and the agent pool will be the local because a local agent is up and running it is already up and running now here it is going to check out the resources now the agent job one is there now here we need to add some tasks so first task is that sonar cube prepare analysis task so i'm going to click on this one and i'm going to add this one now here i need to do some settings so here i need to select the service endpoint so whatever service connections we have created earlier we need to select the same one so we have created sc con so i'm going to select that one now the integration method our project is the maven so i'm going to select the integrate with the maven now advance now here what you need to provide so here we need to provide the project key if you go back to sonar cube you can see it is provide additional property that will be passed to the scanner so put one key value per line sonar this one so here i need to copy this one you can copy all things and come here and paste it here so i am going to paste it here now i am going to save this one so let me save now i want to build the code so i'll add the maven so i'm going to add the maven job so i'll click on maven going to add the maven task click on the maven now here the azure resource there you can leave it as a blank now this is the pom.xml file the package will be the plain install then sonar colon sonar this is the job we have to run as a goal in the maven will publish the jnet results allow the test results now here the code coverage tool is the jcoco and now scroll down you need to select this code analysis options run sonar cube analysis so i'm going to select this one now let's me save and queue now here i'm going to select the agent pool now let's me save and the run so the job is running you can see this job is getting started and it is running here so maven job is running you can see the maven job is in the progress now here we have this a load project setting for the component key so you can see this is the component key and this is the project key is there you can see this is the project key which is up and running now if i go back to sonar cube and if i go under the projects you can see this project is there we have created but we don't have any analysis report here so i want when my pipeline run the analysis should trigger under this repository or under this project all right so let me see the job is still running you can see the analysis is successful you can see here and if you scroll to the right you can see this is the link directly you can go back to this link 
you can see this link and now it is publishing the test result and the code coverage result so if i go back to sonar cube server and if i refresh the server we need to wait for some time okay we need to wait for some time so that we can get the code here so now let me see the job is still running you can see the job is still running now again i'm going to refresh the page <coughs> now refresh the sonar cube server okay so now this time you can see two minutes ago we got the report and we got the analysis report under this test sonar code new project because this project we already have created so we got the code coverage report duplications and maintainability issues security and reliability two minutes ago we got this report so if i click on this one i can see the new analysis in the progress and this is the new code is there the overall code is there so you can see the coverage report and these are the open issues so if you click on the number of the issues you can see these are the issues here so if i go back to the pipeline you can see the job is executed successfully now if i go back to the job i can see this job is status is a success now if i see here this is the artifact is published now here if i click on the test i can see the test jnu test report here and this is the code coverage report so this is generated by the jcoco plugin which we have in our perm.xml file okay so like that we can uh, perform the integration between azure devops and the sonar cube and we can get the test report as well as the code coverage report under the project where we have created 